Oh, 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 oh my God. I don't think this one's gonna make it. Luna. Hi, baby. You wanna? Do you wanna go in bed? Do you wanna go for a nap? So to prepare for Luna's litter, we are building her a whelping area. We're starting with a waterproof quilt. We're gonna put blankets over the top of it to make it a little more comfy, but we're building walls and adding a roof with a cover over it to really emulate that cave den environment, which canines biologically prefer to give birth and raise puppies in. It's cozy, it makes them feel safe, and you can tell Luna loves this. So here we are shaving Luna's belly. This is for sanitary reasons and also it makes it easier for the puppies to find the nipple and feed. And as you can see, Luna is exhausted. She's ready to pop any second now. And she's just laying there letting us do whatever. And if you know Luna, you know that's not how she usually is. So once the contractions begin, mom is going to want to find a safe, dark area. That's why I made this whelping box very similar to a den. They're going to dig at the ground to try to make an even safer place. Obviously, there's nothing there to dig. This is when you can really tell that the birthing process is about to begin. Also, I used to be Dat Doodle on TikTok and YouTube, but now we are Brody That Dude across all platforms. Luna just went into labor. Her water broke. She's panting pretty heavy. I, I put her in the whelping area. I knew she was about to go into labor. She started crying and shaking. She's still shaking a little bit. So she doesn't really like drinking from the water bowl. She doesn't like bending down. She wants to just keep sitting. So I keep putting water on my finger. I'll try lifting the water bowl up. Have some. Drink, Luna, drink. I think she's, I think she just popped one out. Yeah, she did. She just birthed one. She did. Good girl, Good girl. That one came out, wasn't in the placenta when it came out. So as you see, Luna is eating the embryonic sac, and I know it looks gross, but it's very nutritious for mom, and it helps them keep their energy up through the entire birthing process. So at this point, a few hours have passed by and she's only birthed two puppies and I knew there was a lot more left in there. So I had a feeling we were going to be in for a late night. Oh, there's one right here. There's, it's not in sack. But it came out head first, so it's okay. When puppies are born outside the embryonic sac, they run the risk of suffocating in the womb, so it is important to use the baby dropper to clear the nasal and the throat passages. Sometimes puppies wander away from mom, so I pick them up and place them near the nipple so they can feed and get strong for their first day on earth. Now this footage was sent to me by a follower who was screen recording my live stream. At this point, there are eight boys and one girl born already. This next puppy will be born completely lifeless and you're gonna hear the concern in my voice. Hold on, let me check. 
Oh, oh. Oh my God. So the puppy is completely lifeless at this point. You can hear me using the baby dropper, trying to get the fluid out of its throat and nose. There was a ton of fluid in it. It was born out of the embryonic sac. Um, you can see Luna watching. She's starting to get concerned. And the last thing I want to do is stress her out while she has all these other puppies to care for. You can also hear my mom starting to pray in the background. So here you can see Luna trying to help me to stimulate the puppy. Mom licks puppies when they're born to, to stimulate them and to signal to them to start breathing. And so that's what we're trying to do here. So after trying to revive the puppy for about five minutes, you can see that it's still laying here lifeless. Sometimes mother canines won't give up on the puppy. They will keep licking and trying to stimulate the puppy, even if it's dead, to try to get that first sign of life. She's opening her mouth. I think I was just being hopeful here and trying to put on for the camera because I knew there was a few hundred people watching. You can see that the puppy's body is, is pretty lifeless. Um, and the only movement is from me moving her, She's trying really to stimulate. Like opening her mouth. At this point, I'm getting a little desperate and I want Luna to try to help me stimulate it one more time before I take the puppy away from her so she doesn't keep stressing and focusing on reviving it. Guys, so that one, that one came out with a lot of dark blue placenta, which is a bad sign. It's all dark blue. I have it on the side. I'm trying to resuscitate it, but I don't want to do it in front of Luna because if Luna sees it, then it, then she's going to get concerned over it. But right now her mind's not on it. So it's been about 20 to 30 minutes and the puppy is showing no signs of life. So I'm trying to separate the puppy from Luna without her realizing. As you can see, Luna starts to get really concerned when I walk away with the puppy. In the kitchen, I finally saw the first sign of life. She made a little tiny peep. No, 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 Luna, you stay. She's getting up. Let her come out. Okay. Here you go. Oh. She's okay, Luna. She's okay. Come on. She's okay. She's okay. She's okay. She's okay. Yeah.
You okay? You scared me. You scared me. Yeah. You okay? You okay? Okay. Okay. Let's put you along. Oh man. I used the baby dropper to get all the fluid. She had a lot of fluid inside her, inside her lungs. Okay, the girls are the loudest. I'm sorry, guys. They just are. This is the one, guys, that I thought wasn't gonna. And now look at her. Brody's in my room. And now after all of that, Luna still had one more puppy inside her oh, and she is exhausted. She can't push, she has no energy. So I'm trying to help her and encourage her to push. Good girl, come on, keep pushing. There we go, good push. Good girl. Another boy. That one's a big one too. Got her some peanut butter. Want some PB? PB baby. Nice and cold. This, this is refrigerated peanut butter too. Nice and cold. Ow, my finger, no problem. Baby, you want more peanut butter? No more peanut butter? Don't fall asleep. Let's finish this up so you can go to sleep. Energize, energize, energize. This is a caloric nutrient boost. Eat up, eat up. I think it was like a seven hour stream. It's 1.30 in the morning or 2 a.m. I don't even know what time it is. We have nine boys and two girls. Mom's tired. The total puppy count ended up being nine boys and two girls. All of the puppies made it and are happy and healthy. And since this footage was taken three years ago, I'm able to show you puppy updates in this video. Now, Nebula is the dog who needed to be resuscitated. She lives in Miami with her mother and this is what she looks like now. <laughs> Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. There's plenty more to come. All right, here it is. Brody's about to meet his little brothers and sisters for the first time. Let's go.